Science Kids, welcome sa ating new episode ng Grade 4 Science Learning Activities. Kayo ay nasa ikalawang linggo na ng inyong pag-aaral sa inyong mga tahanan. Kaya't ako ay narito upang kayo ay gabayan sa inyong pagkatuto. My name is Teacher Lariza at narito na ang ating new episode para sa Grade 4 Science Activities. Science Learning Episode Materials That Float and Sink in our last science episode, you have learned the ability of materials to absorb water. For a quick review, porosity is the property of materials to absorb water. For in Tagalog, ang porosity ay ang katangian ng isang material na sumipsip at pasuki ng tubig. This property is possible because of the presence of small holes or pores in the material which allow air or water to pass through it. Or in Tagalog, ito ay ang pagkakaroon ng maliliit o pinong butas kung saan pumapasok o dumadaloy ang tubig. The objects which have small holes in them are called porous materials, while the objects that do not have small holes in them are called non-porous materials. For an instance, sponge, cotton, and tissue paper are examples of porous materials, while on the other hand, Metal spoons, plastics, porcelains, and glasses are examples of non-porous materials. Now that you have understood the difference between porous and non-porous materials, we can now move forward to the next special property of matter, the ability to float or sink. Let us first unlock the terms for this activity. When we say sink, it means to fall to the bottom of water, or in Tagalog, Paglubog sa tubig. When we say float, it means to stay on top of the water. In Tagalog, it means lumutang or paglutang sa tubig. When we say density, it is the amount of mass of an object per unit volume. Or in Tagalog, ang density ay ang katumbas na timbang ng isang bagay kada espasyong sinasakop nito. Now, let us proceed to our experiment time. These are the materials that we are going to use in this experiment. Piece of bread, tissue paper, plastic cup, styro cup, rice grains, clothes pin, metal spoon, face towel, or piece of cloth. These are the steps to follow in doing our experiment. Number 1, prepare a container or basin with 3 fourth full of water. Number 2, soak each material one at a time and observe each for 10 seconds. Number 3, write your observation on a table, noting which materials float or sink in water. Now, let us discuss the result of our activity. The materials that sink are metal spoon, tissue paper, clothes pin, rice grains, and face towel. While on the other hand, one material submerged part way down, which is a piece of bread, and two materials float on water, which are the plastic cup and the styro cup. In our experiment, you have noticed that there are materials that float on water, while there are some that sink in water. What is the reason behind this? Is it because of the size of the object? 
or is it because of the weight of the object? Kung ito ang ating magiging basihan, bakit kaya lumubog ang rice grain? Bakit kaya lumutang ang styrofoam? The correct answer is because of their density. A while ago, we discussed that density is the amount of mass of an object per unit volume. Meaning, kung ang mass o bigat ng isang object ay mabigat para sa kanyang size, it will sink in water. Kung ang object naman ay magaan para sa kanyang size, it will float on water. Water has its own density. If the density of an object is higher than the density of the water, it will sink in water. Or in Tagalog, kung ang density ng isang bagay ay mas mabigat kesa sa density ng tubig, ito ay dudubog. On the other hand, if the object is less dense o mas magaan kesa sa density ng tubig, it will float on water. So, these are the key points of this lesson. Number one, some things float on top of the water, some things submerge partway down, and some things sink. Nalutang ang isang object kung ito ay less dense kesa sa water. Ang isang object naman ay bahagyang nakalutang kung ang kanilang density ay harrods pareho lamang. Ang isang object naman ay lumulubog sa tubig kung ang density ng object ay mas mabigat kumpara sa density ng water. Number 2. Some things sink very fast while some things sink very slow. Mas mataas na density ng object, mas mabilis itong lulubog sa tubig. Number 3. The shape of an object can actually affect its ability to float. But there are some materials that float no matter what their shape is, just like the styrofoam. Lastly, some things float at first but then they sink as they absorb water or take in water through their holes. For example, is yung tablecloth. Yung tablecloth, pagkalagay natin sa tubig, ay hindi agad lumubog. Ito ay nag-absorb muna ng tubig hanggang sa ito ay bumigat ng bumigat and then it gradually sink in water. Why do some people use floaters in swimming pool? The correct answer is, they use floaters to keep them afloat in water. So why do you think large boats or ships float in water? The answer is, large ships or boats float in water because the upward push of water is greater than their weights. So why does life vests keep us afloat in water? Life vests keep us afloat on water because it makes us occupy a bigger space, increasing the upward force of water on us, making us afloat on water. That's it, science kids! I hope you learned something new in our lesson for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe to stay notified on our next videos. That's it! Bye-bye!